Howdy, everybody. No one's watching currently. Oh, hold on. All right, no one's currently watching the live stream. So when I upload, when this video goes up as a normal video, um, this will either be dead space or I'll cut it. I'm just going to let it sit for like five minutes until at least one or two. Oh, someone's in. Okay. A couple people streaming in. I'm just going to give it like a minute or two here, see if anyone, just let a couple other people, I know I'm a little bit early from what I announced. Hello. Alright, there's more than one, that's enough to start, and I don't have a whole lot of time today, so... So, this is the first run of the, fig of, I guess, figure painting streams. It's a lot easier for me to do streams than to try to record a normal video in my current setup. So this is what I've been working on. I don't remember if it's 8th or 10th scale. I said it was 8th, but I was looking at it, it might be 10th. This is the body, all primed. This is a resin kit I got from some eBay seller. I'm not... The original was Young Miniatures. I have no idea if this is an actual official kit or if this is some sketchy thing that someone um, cast a copy of. My money honestly would probably be on a cast copy, but detail's pretty good on it. That's So this is what I've been working on lately. Today I'm just... Um, because of drying times and how much time I have to work on this, I'm probably just going to do the chain mail today and then come back next week and start working on the white um not soon not anytime soon b man i would like to it's one of the few modern tanks i do i do like but i don't have an airbrush anymore well currently it's going to be a while before i get an airbrush again and i don't really want to do any real kits without one so this is the progress that's made so far I was bored one day, so I started painting, and I didn't get any of it on camera. But this is the face of that the the current project. It's all it's all oils. It's uh, I like it better than the last than the last um, face I did. The the German machine gunner, get, getting a little bit better control over it, especially the red and how you you're supposed to work that into the cheeks and such. The only other thing, so I think today's going to be chain mail, and I want to come in with a little bit of um, gloss and just get his eyes. And then the face should actually be ready to go on the figure. Just a, so other updates um, before jumping into the painting, as, just letting it run on a little bit longer here, the intro. Um, Future things. So this, this I'll probably stream the entire build of this. I have the old Tamiya German um, horse folk kit. I'll probably do eventually. That'll be another stream. This is. I will be able to get a new video out. I have a submarine build coming out. Um, Probably next week or two weeks from now, I'm altering the music after the strong reaction to some of the music. I think I use some of the same, so I'm probably going to swap it out either for all just straight classical marches or some find something neutral. But sometime in the next year, I'll be doing this figure too. Again, I have no idea if this is an original of the company that actually makes it, but it's pretty clean. And it's, I find it very funny, so this will be a project that will be a normal time-lapse video. Alright, I think that's enough. That's everything I have to say, so I'm going to bust out the paint and get started here. Where did I get Trump? I found him on eBay. I just googled, like, 135th scale Trump figures. I was actually originally looking for the one of Putin riding on a bear, but I, I liked this one more. And I had a limited amount of funds. So I thought I brought um, I thought I brought gloss black with me, but apparently I didn't. So I'm gonna have to make do 
with a little bit of a tap of flat black and a bit of gloss varnish well acrylic acrylic gloss I might just thin it out but I'd like I'd like a glossy base writing and berry yeah um, you can actually get it I don't remember which manufacturer does it, but one of the manufacturers, one of the smaller kit manufacturers, makes um, a modern, I, again, I don't know much about tanks, they make a modern Russian tank, um, and it comes packaged with that, with the Putin riding a bear. So you can actually, you can do your diorama of, like, your tank breaking over a barricade or something, and the charge led by, by a shirt, oh, it's also the shirtless Putin, by the way. For like that, that it's modeled after that picture of him riding a horse. So I've never actually painted chainmail. I'm not 100% sure what the best approach to it is. I think what I'm going to try here is a gloss black uh, base, let it dry a little bit, then like a gunmetal dry brush, and then a, a pure silver dry brush for highlights and see how that goes. And if that washes out the black, I'll probably hit it with a black wash after. And then while we're waiting for this black to set up a little bit, I will go in and get in gloss the eyes. So this stream will be pretty short. Um, bef before starting on the next thing, I want to let I want to make sure that the chainmail sets completely sets up. Because the next big thing is going to be um, dealing with the the cape and tunic and stuff, and that's white. And I don't, I have no idea how to paint white clothes on figures, so that's going to be a lot of experimentation and learning. Oh yes, I'm aware. I'm aware. You, uh, you know what I was originally going to do? Um, I bought, back in 2016, before the election actually, I bought a uh, 1, 144, 757. Well, it's the Air Force 757. And I was going to build it as the uh, I, it's called online Trump Force One it's his private airliner but I just I guess I was just like too lazy or something to buy the, to actually buy the decals and then the project just kind of died Do it 2020. Yeah. Well, I can't do the I can't do the aircraft. I don't have my airbrush or anything up um, around where I am. But the figure, I haven't decided exactly when I'd like to put that video out. I'm leaning towards uh, either just before election day or just after. It's a little bit far far into the future to decide, but probably before. Just because, you know, regardless of your political sides of things, it'd be kind of weird to post a video, like a like a funny video about the president after he loses an election. So it'll probably go out like a week or two before. Got to mix up some more paint. This is really eating it.
doesn't look like a large it doesn't look like a large area but it's um got a lot of recesses that are just soaking it up The other interesting thing I'm thinking of doing, I need to get some more Vallejos for it and a couple different brushes. I might do a build, like back to basics build or whatever, of, um, oh, that's unfortunate. That's gonna be hard to cover up. Of um, uh, 76 scale stuff. I got a, I, I received an Airfix 76 scale Mark IV not too long ago and that is something that is small enough and manageable enough that I could do relatively comfortably by, by brush so that might be a video that comes out in the fairly near future It's a little bit strange to go quiet for such a long period of time, but I don't really have a, anything to just kind of fill air about. And all the other live streams I've done, I did with Pincushion. And Pincushion is like 12 hours away from me and doesn't paint figures much, so he can't jump in. The reason I didn't stream last week, I was trying to figure out how to set up, set it up so I could have like audio adjusted background music or something, just so that when I'm sitting here not having anything to say, there wouldn't just be dead space. But that I couldn't get it figured out just with streaming off of my phone and all right, so that's just gonna that's just gonna sit here for make sure I'm missing. Let me just hit that. Don't worry about the silence, mate. Thanks. I'll get it figured out. I, I've got an, I've got like 12 weeks to get this fi sort, sorted. So. I have to fix all that later. I really don't like getting these splotches on here. It's going to be annoying to try to deal with with the with the white or the off white. All right, that looks like all the chainmail. Uh, there's none. There's no chainmail on anything else. He's got like a head scarf that I didn't show that covers up all the neck area, so you don't see any of the chain. Oh, well, I'll put that aside. Grab a different brush, and we'll hit the eye with a little bit of clear. So again with the Vallejo gloss. I don't know if I can, oh I can zoom. I didn't know I could zoom, that's helpful. You can tell I don't stream a whole lot. There you go. Looks pretty good on the stream. It looks awful through the camera, but it's coming out decent resolution, so that's nice. Hey, can you rush the cut? Where's the cut?
Hello, how you doing? To anyone watching this after the stream when it's up as a normal video, make sure you got the live stream visible because it'll probably sound pretty funk or the live chat visible because it'll probably sound pretty funky if you you're just um, just listening to me because I don't think it comes up. Another thing I couldn't figure out how to set up was to have the live stream visible or the the chat visible. I see your mate quick kits turn back up. Yes, I know. I was very surprised to see this. It, suddenly after like a long time of silence, his Twitter goes live and he's working on Cromwells. I don't know that I'd say m he's my mate so much. Uh, we just talked about doing a, a video thing. Well, he, he talked to his channel at large and evidently nobody else d did it either. Because, I mean, his channel just went silent. Um, if he was interested, I'd still be willing to do it when I have my airbrush again. But I am now in the situation that he was in that made him want outside uh, video. So, all right, I should gloss those eyes. Let's just give a quick, quick look at how... The Vallejo dries pretty quick, so we shouldn't, hello. The Vallejo dries pretty quick, so we shouldn't have to let it sit too long here to get dry brushing going. Oh, I missed a ton of spots, so I need a wider brush. Crack this thing open here. This will No, it's an oil brush. That's the only bad thing about this kit I've noticed so far. It's kind of annoying to to get all of these. Um, make sure you actually get in the recesses. Let's see now, I need more paint again. It's like this doesn't look like doesn't look like it takes up a lot of space. It doesn't look like you'd need a lot of. Uh, doesn't look like you need a lot of uh, paint to do it, but the recesses really add a lot of area. Just mixing a little bit of Vallejo flat and Vallejo, or flat black and Vallejo gloss here, off camera. Hey, these are respectable numbers for a live stream that I do. Hello, eight people. I suppose while I've got the black mixed and I'm waiting for the, oh, there's a little bit up there too, and I'm waiting for the chain mail to dry enough to, or um, set enough to do some dry brushing, I'll go in and black the bottom as well. Just, this will be easier to clean up now than painting it after the, or trying to avoid getting any on the tunic once the tunic's painted.
don't think I'm going to black the whole bottom. I think I'm probably, just because it's really interesting to me that it's included. I don't know anything about this manufacturer. I don't know if it, they just choose to use it or if they, I'm looking for a DO335 and an HE162A2A. Uh, HE162A2A, um, Tamiya makes one in 48 that's really good. I have it. I haven't built it yet, but I've got, cut a lot of stuff off the sprue and toyed around with it. it. Includes full engine detail, which is, well, as full as you're going to get with injection, which is nice. I'd probably get a resin replacement, just if you're going to display the engine, you might as well go all the way. Uh, the feel is a little bit harder. I know Tamiya makes or made one, but if you don't want to pay Tamiya price for it, um, I think, I don't remember if it was Pro Modeler or just normal Revel, but I know for a fact, I'm going to go with Pro Modeler, because I think that's the one I had way back before I had a channel or took modeling seriously and I was just like in early middle school messing around with stuff. I think it's Pro, Model, Pro Modeler that makes a 148th scale uh feel they also make the the trainer version it might even be in the same boxing so if you want the trainer version you can get it from there too all right make sure those little crevices and I'll probably put a poll up here in the next couple of weeks, um, maybe late October. Uh, in December, there's going to be a block of time of about three weeks so I'll have access to my airbrush. Now, how I choose to use that time is going to, it's, I don't know. I'm probably gonna put up a poll with a couple options Ever, the subscribers can vote and whatever comes out on top will be the focus for that three weeks and I'll try to get that into a video my main goal this well my main goal related to the channel this year is to not well year this chunk of time is to not um, not not go the way of quick kits I don't want to just kind of fade out or do a whole run of weird disconnected videos my videos are probably going to slow down, but they've been pretty slow this year to begin with. So if I can just keep them coming out every month or every month and a half or two months, I'll, I'll be happy. And then um, May, it'll start back up again at a no more normal pace. The problem is the access to the airbrush. It, the time isn't such a big concern. It's the it's the fact I don't have anywhere to use my airbrush. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. We are. Let's see how the well, just a little bit of shine off the eyes, just a little bit better. So now I'm just gonna let it sit for a little bit of time here. Clean my brushes. Um, I have a figure that I painted to show to show you that I don't think I've ever shown before, but it might have come up in one of the old live streams when Pincushion and I... The thing is, I'm like, oh, 72nd. Yeah, that's, that's a bit trickier. Quick Kits was after. Are you talking about the... the, the uh, what's her name? The one who did the that one video for him. I, I not not to throw not to throw any anything at, at at him. I like I do I like Quick Hits quite a bit. I still would like to work with him if he's if he's up for it. But uh, did you see on the, that the um, the Q and A when she was like, yeah. No, we're definitely just friends. And he's trying to hide it. His face just, it was in the eyes, you know? It was in the eyes. I don't know if you watched that or noticed that. <laughs> I am very, yes, friend zoned. 
I am very excited that he's that he's back though. I do like his I do like his videos. So I don't remember if I showed this or not, but this is kind of the first figure I did that is not terrible. And he never got used for anything, and I don't know what I'm going to use him for because I don't really build 72nd scale anymore, and I really don't build 72nd scale Vietnam era. This is one of the pil pi walking pilots that comes with the F4, the old movie connected. I don't even remember what the name of it, the boxing is, F4. There's actually no shading on this one. There's just a base, the base flight suit, dry brush, a lighter green for the straps. The helmet was fun to paint. I, I don't remember how I got the s small dots. There's probably supposed to be stars. But this is kind of the first figure that got me looking into the possibility of doing figures at school. Just to keep some content going. Just make a base for it and display. That's not a bad idea. Like a little, like a little Warhammer sized combat, a little Warhammer sized figure base. Just throw it on some tarmac or something. Uh, that's a good idea. That might, that could be a thing. What I was, another, another thing I was actually thinking of, I think I have, I think I have that, that F4. So what happened with that, those couple live streams we were doing, actually you guys never saw the F4. I forgot that wasn't a live stream. That was a, that was a, um, a video I was trying to do. I had an idea for this video where it would be like, thank you. It would be like, um, teaching, teach, teaching my friends. Cause I have, I have a bunch of friends who expressed interest in modeling, but never actually, but never actually did it. So my, one of my friends, Pincushion came into owning a large collection of kits for reasons that I don't remember and aren't particularly relevant. And what he did was he, he ended up with duplicates actually. And he asked if I wanted them, of course, you know, free kits. And then he told me he'd like to try. And I told, he found out I had the channel and we started recording a side by side build and we were going to, it was going to be a whole video. And then he just kind of stopped coming over and lost interest. And then we did the live stream of the Sonicraft Fatsoid for a while, and then that also just kind of stopped. That's another video that's going to be done when I get access to an airbrush. I found a nice picture of those captured and uh, painted Americans, so I'm probably going to do that. But that never happened. So I think I still have that F4 lying around somewhere. I was thinking I can saw off most of the nose and just kind of have it standing on the, um, on the, the nose gear, and then just black block and black the back to match the curve of a small base and um and just build it like that and have have him like walking away or walking towards for display if i do that this is it's the him being finished is going to have to wait a while but i think that'd be a pretty interesting way to display him All right let's check check the chain mail situation again Good lord, I am missing all of the pockets. Shame to stick it in the draw. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I really had no interest in the kit. I was only doing it to get him to to get him to do it. see just because I'm having such a hard time getting all of the getting all of the the pockets black I'll probably do a wash af after it sets I was just kind of hoping to not do that but I am really having a hard time getting all these pockets filled in and a black oil wash would help with that
All right, that top part looks pretty good. The bottom part looks pretty good. It's much less deep down, down low. This side is a nightmare still. Also, if anybody is interested in drawing and art, and more specifically manga and cartoon style drawing and art, I'm starting a new channel that's not connected to this one in any way. And I don't even really need or want people to watch it necessarily. It's mostly just to force me to practice. Um, the idea is make to do daily daily uploads just to make sure that I force myself every day to, to draw at least one thing in the style until I get good at the style. Because I, all of my drawing experience is in like mechanical drawing and realistic drawing and the way I, this, the way I draw does not translate well to anime styles. So if anyone's interested in that uh, once this goes up, not as a live stream, I'll put the link in the description for when that starts. Um, just for people who are watching right now, it's called Muddling Through Manga. I don't even know if you can find it in YouTube search because there's literally no uh, no videos posted yet. It just exists for me to use when I am ready to use it. But again, that's not a thing. That's not going to be connected to TWA in any way. I'm also going through all of my kind of more recent comments. Uh, I know a bunch of people have been asking me questions and I miss them. So I'm going to try to go in and deal with that. Like specifically the AR-15 build video that I removed because I think it was messing with my some of my YouTube results. I think YouTube didn't like that video too much. Someone asked for the song playlist. I'm go I'll be sure to get back to you this week. All right, that looks more solid. Hydra Chibis for a year. Oh. <laughs> there's, a, there's just a ton of things I want to do that I don't have the money to pay other people to do for me. And I know I can. I just have to force myself to practice. Um. The only problem is, one of the big things I want to do is about a 15 second animation. And I don't know how to animate at all. But just, you need art. Uh, I need to figure, I need to, yes, eventually, but. Yeah. So I have, I know nothing about animating. Uh, once I made, well, I figure the animation probably, with especially the way anime is done, the animation probably would come pretty quick once the style is down, or at least I hope. If it doesn't, there's always the opportunity to pay somebody to do it for me, but I'd really like to avoid that, so that's, that's my little side project. Okay, I think that's set up pretty well. I'm going to, gosh darn it. It's like every time I think it's going well, it dries a little bit and all of, and like an air, pop, air bubble pops and all of the holes are exposed. All right, that's as good as that's gonna get. Any any other holes are gonna have to be dealt with with um, with a wash. Just clean my brush real quick. All right, so I think the base color is going to be like a light gunmetal with Airfix black, and then the highlight color will be just silver. And any further highlights that are necessary, I'll use um, the Tamiya 
little weathering powders, or I have my chrome pencil. I could pick out the very peaks of things, but there's the way, since all these are under folds, I don't think I'm going to need the, those peaks at all. Actually, stretching this stream out pretty all right. I was thinking this would be over much, much more quickly. The side, but it'll work as a starting point. My brush is total dry. All right, we got it loaded up. Yeah, this is way too dark. No, it doesn't look too bad. I suppose it'll it'll work. I do need to. I do need to lose a little bit more paint, though. Oh, I actually kind of like the way that 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 comes out. One thing I realized I probably should. Have um, I don't know if you could hear that, but one of my roommates just came back in the room. Crashed and everyone left, but this video is still going up, so I'll keep going. Maybe it'll come back. And it is completely deadlocked or what, but it is gone. I'm sorry, guys. As a video. Go again. I'm watching on a separate screen. and It's not pretty. Which is really weird because right up until I started dry brushing, the video was perfect. It was like, like, a, like a five second delay and it was at like... Sally 720. So I'm going, I am going to, I just got, I'm going to drop a little bit of silver into that mix and lighten it up just a tad and go over everything again. A little bit lighter. Okay. So you can hear me. Can you see me at all or is the video just completely dead? Now, I guess. Symbol. All right. I don't really like the way it's coming out on this side, but this side looks real nice. All right, last bit, the silver final and it dropped again. Just the peaks now, just the peaks here. I don't know what's going on at 3.30, but apparently that everyone just jumped on the network. So I think I'm going to call it a stream. That's how the chain mail came out. It'll get hit with a, war, a wash later. All right. Well, we'll give it another shot next week. The video will go up on the channel whenever YouTube decides to process it. And uh, oh, oh, it's coming back. Oh, it's like 10 minutes, or it's like 5 minutes behind, but. Alright, so next week, probably 2, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Next week. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm going to sign out and let this video start processing. Have a